Okay, so this video may not be the best quality. Please bear with me guys. My whole house is filled up. I just have to hide here just to film this video. Anyways, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Blessing. Welcome to my space. Please subscribe to join the family and also turn on the bell notification so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. So you guys, coming to you guys with this sensitive video that I want to make. And what motivated me to sitting down here to make this video today is knowing that 70% of child abuse reported in the police today is from family members. Is it not overwhelming? It is so overwhelming. And being a victim, I've been there. That is why I've decided to make this video to educate, you know, parents, guardians, older siblings out there. So yeah. We know that sexual child abuse is when an adult or older adolescent uses a child basically for sexual pleasures and all of that. So this is my story here. Yeah? So growing up, we have this cousin that stays with us. He's been staying with us ever since I was born, like basically. And we kind of grew up together. He's way older than us. So very, very, very much older than us with like a lot of years. So it's it's almost like our parents trusted us with this guy, something like that. And being you know typical Nigerian parent, they're always out and about their day, you know, going to work, market, and all of that. So this happened that uh, it happened that this guy started investing on PF, started watching like blue movies and uh, I don't understand why you will spend money to buy something that makes you feel so uncomfortable and the next thing you want to look for a prey, somebody you want to try it out with, you know? And this guy is not, he's old enough to have a girlfriend or even to get married, he's like about 28, 29 years out of then, I mean, speaking, speaking out of appearance, I'm so not sure. But each time he watches this thing, he tries to, you know, practicalize what he sees, you know, and I don't know why he chose me. I mean, I don't know why he chose me to be doing that, to do that with. So it's happened that when he started investing in this blue movies and we find out, my students and now we find out because we will go to school and he will be stay back at home or maybe he will go to work and come back early on, on time and he will insert the disc in the dvd and when the light gets interrupted he can't get his dvd his disc out so it's like stuck there and when we come back from school you know kids we want to watch something and then we'll laugh we see that we saw that there and that is how we figured out that it was him that has been doing this thing it was him that is watching this um dirty movie so it happened that we couldn't tell our parents about this and we just kept it to ourselves. We all know that, we all knew within ourselves that this is what he does. So we kept it to ourselves. We don't talk, to, we didn't talk to him about it. I mean, we're obviously children. So we didn't talk to him about it. We didn't, you know, make him understand that we know that he's doing something like this, that he's watching this. And being a typical Christian home, some things, some things like that are not like, are not acceptable at all in a typical Nigerian home. Uh, so it happened that one fateful day, he came back late, okay, so he came back late, my mom, my dad already slept, my sibling, everybody has slept basically, but we kind of, there's a way we close the door for him so that when he comes back, he'll be the last to close everywhere or, you know, lock up everywhere, make sure that everywhere is, you know, secured and closed. So he came back, I was, I remember I was on the couch and I was... I slept off on the couch, okay, maybe I was there, I remember I was there with one of my siblings, but then maybe the person woke up and went inside the room and didn't wake me up, so I I was left there by myself on the couch. So when he came in, he, there might be a lot of distraction in this video, please pardon me, you guys know, the husband is house, the children are house, my mother-in-law is here, and everybody is just here, and you know with this nonsense going on in the east everybody's at home every monday so drives me crazy but what can i do so moving forward as i was saying that sibling of mine left me in the sitting room by myself so i slept off on the couch so i noticed that when he came in uh i didn't know when he came in so Basically, he came in and he came up to me, and when when I when I regained my consciousness, when I knew like what was going on, that something was going on in my environment, is when he started touching me. Like this dude was basically, ah! he was touching me, not like touching, 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 but he was touching me illegally because you cannot touch your cousin 
like that so that's that he was touching me you know caressing me you know all that stuff so when i woke up i opened my eyes he pretended that nothing happened okay so i asked him i said what are you doing he said what me no way i said what were you doing you were touching me what were you doing so he said that he wasn't doing anything that i'm just dreaming i said oh okay dreaming i stood up and i went to my bed so to go and sleep until the next morning and i couldn't tell anyone about this okay i couldn't tell anyone and i have that having that in my mind i knew that this dude actually tried to mess around with me here he actually tried to mess with me so having that at the back of my head being a student also as then i think i was in jesus 3 or jesus 2 as of that time so having that at the back of my head it actually kind of messed with me mentally emotionally i was actually kind of traumatized like he lives with us and he's a cousin I noticed that I couldn't tell anyone this, not even my mom or my sibling, not anybody. And because of that, I had it in my heart. Because of that, I started to have behavioral changes, okay? I started to have, start, I started having, I can't talk. I started having like sleeping difficulties. I couldn't sleep at night. I started having like terrible nightmares. I don't, I don't sleep at night. I am always up and for the few hours I'll close my eyes. I'm dreaming. It is just that bad. I started having like school problems, my grades started dropping like really bad and my dad would always scream at me, D -d 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 -d. you know, you normally come second, I used to be this bright student that would normally come second, like I don't even drag it to anybody in my class, but when this started happening, I see myself coming back home with fourth position and seventh position and that was so bad, my dad would scream at the top of his voice and nothing would change because I've been, you know, affected i've been so distracted and i just keep seeing you know what happened i just keep seeing it and i can't i can't just help myself when i sleep i have a bed wet as of my age then i freaking bed wet i pee on the bed i i bed wet i started being aggressive i used to be a very happy cheerful girl you know play around yeah. with my best friend. You know play around with my best friend then in school and i started being aggressive i started keeping to myself and you know i started staying in the dark basically i got totally withdrawn from no, the normal things that i would do and i became a very sad depressed girl whenever i see him i shiver like whenever i, see, I set my eyes on him i shiver i shiver in fear i shiver in hatred like i totally hate this guy from head to toe and the worst like the most difficult part of it all is that i still couldn't tell anyone so one day this faithful saturday night he carried himself over to me again again i was at the couch i don't know kids i mean i was at the couch and he came you know and tried repeating the same thing he did the other day and i caught him red handed because i was i was not so in, i was not so much asleep and I knew like I, I could understand what was going on in my environment so I caught him red-handed and I told him I know what you're doing and of course he tried denying it so I stood up and went to my bed then the next morning I couldn't keep it to myself I was just raging in anger and confusion and I was just so sad so I walked up to my sister my other sister in kitchen in the kitchen she was cooking that face for Sunday morning and I I still couldn't tell it to her the way it is I asked her a question in a corny way but being so smart and being so much older than I am she grabbed what I was saying I think I said I asked her a question that has to do with that but no I didn't ask her like it happened to me I asked her like it happened to someone that I knew so I asked her and I said um what happens if a guy that says what happens if a guy I, don't, I can't really remember the way I put the question but I asked her something like this what happens if a guy that's a cousin to a girl tried you know touching that girl in a bad way that's the way I asked her the question and she said Oh, that does. I think she did. She call, she, did she say it's, it's an incest? So I didn't even. I can't remember the language. The, the language. What her exact reply is, but I know that she said that it's something that is not good. And she was like, oh, "Wait a minute. Who did that happen to you? Who did that to you? Who did that to you?" I knew that was you. So I was like, I got you know, I got so emotional, and I said yes, that it was me, and it was the bastard that did that to me. 
she ran. My sister ran to the room and my mom and my, and my dad, they, you know, normal, normal Sunday morning, we are getting ready for church and she told my dad and my mom about this and they called him to the room, they called me as well and they asked me, I confessed, I said yes, that's what happened, that's what has been going on. And um, they called him and they asked him and he denied it. The dude denied it, he freaking denied it. He said I'm lying on top of his head. He said I'm lying against him and lying on top of his head. <laughs> he said I'm lying against him, that's false accusation and allegation and all whatnot. But being my dad being a standard man, he doesn't want to take chances, so we ha he had to send him out of our house, and that was how I got free from this guy. And I knew that if he was, if I didn't, you know, take the step that I took that morning, and he was still living with us, that maybe he might even rape me because the signs were just coming. So, but being a, a little girl, I was so afraid to tell nobody. And what will I even say? Like, what will I even say? It's just so that it's just that confusing. So, this is to you guys out there, you parents, you older siblings, adults, you guardians that have little kids, little children with you, and you have family members living with you. Please look out for these family members. Listen to them check them you know whatever they're complaining try to listen to them and connect the door together because they might say something they might be saying something that's really important and you're just waving it off and under your nose your child is getting you know molested and all that so please look out for your child look out for your siblings you know if you're an older brother uh, older sibling and also you should try checking out their genitals boys are molested girls can be molested boys can be molested so please check out their genitals check for swollenness you know check for redness check for you know abnormality in total uh in your girl child and in your boy child so yeah that's basically it don't conclude and say that your child is a naggy type your child is so stubborn your child is a lying type of child still investigate okay don't keep don't wave it away don't uh conclude that that child is saying trash because there might be truth in what that child is saying but yeah that's it for this video i hope you i hope you learned one or two from this video from my behavioral changes to me bedwetting at the age of almost 14 to 15 years i was practically bedwetting you know out of trauma and I should tell you that that was really bad and sad so i hope you learned one or two from this video and if you do please let me know in the comment section let me know what you think also in the comment section and let me know if you have someone that has been a victim of you know child abuse uh by family members and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video please subscribe to join the family i can't forget that and also give me my like i deserve a like thank you guys see you next time bye